Hi there, everyone. Thank you for your interest in our poster. My name is Afik Hamid, representing the Institute of Radio Astronomy and Space Research of Auckland University of Technology, in collaboration with Nicholas Copernicus University and the Pedagogical University of Krakow Mount Suhora Observatory. We are proud to present this poster on our polarimetric study of the long period eclipsing variable EE Cephei during the 2020 eclipse. EE Cephei is an enigmatic binary system lying at two kiloparsecs distance in the constellation Cepheus that experiences periodic dips in its photometric magnitude every 5.6 years. And these dips are caused by eclipsing obscurations by a low luminosity companion that carries with it a dusty debris disk of a curious and unknown nature. This is evident by the variable photometric depths of the eclipse events of the past six decades. And a concrete model of the precession of this system has been long sought after to explain a lot of the unique photometric features of the eclipses, such as the asymmetry and the blue maxima or kinks that happen before and after the main minima. Our study in the R band was taken with the filter wheel mounted Savart plates of the 60 centimeter Kesegrain telescope of Mount Suhora Observatory. The target was observed for 30 nights during the eclipse, six nights after the eclipse, and four nights during a period of infrared excess one year later after the eclipse. And the average time on target for EE Cephei was 50 minutes each night. We also observed several polarization standard stars, such as G191B2B, HD215806, and BD plus 64106 to verify our instrumental zero polarization point and the necessary position angle shift of our setup. We computed linear Stokes Q and U parameters for our targets, which gave us the polarization degree and position angle. And for EE Cephei, we we're able to study the PD and PA as a function of time and compare it to the light curve. This is after calibration, of course. And from our results, we can see that PD decreases with time, PA increases with time during the eclipse, and the off eclipse var values are nearly constant. Now, the maximum PD during the eclipse was 2.6%, and this occurred uh, during the time of the blue maxima on the left of the photometric minimum, and the minimum PD is less than 1.5% immediately after the eclipse. Now, the changes of PA were unfortunately marked by outliers uh, during the egress, but the total difference from beginning to end was a change of 10 degrees. And the average PD of our entire data set is 2 plus minus 0.017%, and the average PA in total is 24 plus minus 2.4 degrees. Now, structurally, I think that PA is more interesting than PD. However, both are important and require further study. Uh, now, there's not too much of a, di of a difference between the mean PD and PA between uh, eclipse and off of the eclipse. However, that 0 0.2 phase uh, looks kind of interesting in its difference. And the 0 0.2 phase is associated with a proximity effect where the primary and the companion are approaching the periostron passage. And this may be important to the precession model. So stay tuned for that. On top of this, we are able to study the contributions of interstellar polarization using the Hylus uh, 2020 catalog and found that the PD towards EE Cephe is 2.4 plus minus 0.3%, which is nearly consistent with our off of eclipse values. So one remaining to do for us is to correct for this interstellar polarization in all of our results. So in summary, we've seen some variations of PD and PA uh, during the eclipse and an interesting variation during the 0.2 phase. However, there are some instru in instrumental corrections and refining that remains to be done. The results are interesting and can provide comp complementary information towards our understanding of EE Cephei. Thank you for your attention and have an excellent conference.